Okay, so today I am going to be testing out some various fluxes that I have obtained through eBay and I think even Amazon. And the um, thing about them is some of these are probably fake. I don't really know. I'm kind of new to the whole soldering thing and I don't know much about flux. So from what I see here, there's looks like three different types of rosin fluxes. Type R, which just states containing only rosin, is the least active and is recommended for surfaces very clean to start with. It leaves virtually no residue behind. Type RMA contains a small amount of additional activator okay, that's weird, to enhance cleaning and deoxidation, leaving only a minimum amount of inert residue behind. And type RA, which is the most active of rosin fluxes leaves the most residue however the residues can be removed with appropriate flux cleaners so this one right here claims to be type RMA I got this off of eBay it came with a kit I actually have a whole batch of this which interesting thing about this I'll get into it in a minute uh, some Amtec I think this was like $12 um, I know this is legit uh, came out of, I forget what state, uh, duh, duh, duh. doesn't say on it, but I know it's legit. Um, I have this from MG Chemicals. This is pretty good, this is what I've been using with the first one I got. Seems okay from what I, I can tell. Of course, I don't know a lot about Flux. And I have some knockoff Kester, 186, uh, Liquid Flux. And just so you know, I haven't used any of these new ones, so I have no idea what they'll do. I've been waiting to do this to see what it'd be like, maybe give a funny reaction to it. Uh, but yeah, this is obviously a knockoff. Again, I don't know if it's legit or not. Well, I know it's not legit, but I don't know if it's actually real flux. And that gets to the next thing I want to say. Uh, so with these fake fluxes, or knockoff fluxes, some people claim that they could be possibly Vaseline. So, uh, I have with me over here, so where the hell did I put it, a big old jug of Vaseline. So I'm going to try to solder them with Vaseline, just to see if maybe, that might be right, maybe they are actually Vaseline, I don't know. Um, getting to this one right here in particular, so yeah, Amtec is what it claims to be, and Amtec, right here. Funny thing is, this came out of China, obviously and this did not so why would this go leave the United States because this is made in the USA to go overseas to come back to here to be sold as Amtec they were very obvious to being fake so if this will focus in right here they didn't really make much of an effort in their knockoff brand so you can see here they misspelled that word um, where else? Oh god, this is like a wreck here. Um, they misspelled California. Right there. Misspelled that. Misspelled use only. So yeah, obviously fake. But I don't know if it's good or not. That's the, the reason I was wanting to buy these is because if you're buying bulk flux, it's actually kind of expensive. These are not though. So here is a big bulk thing I bought, which is, as you can tell, almost like the same thing. Not rebranded though, I don't believe. This is like four dollars for all this. So if I, if you actually were able to get good flux for that volume, why would you not? But is it real? So. That's where I'm going to get into this. I'm going to try some of these out, see what they look like, see if they actually help my soldering joints out. These came with two, by the way, for like, I don't know, six dollars. And we'll see if it's actually any good. So, uh, I have two boards over here I'm going to test this stuff out on. One of it is like a little project board I've been working on, the other one is just some scrap board I have. and. We will see under microscope or this little, you know, electronic microscope 
if it actually works like flux would. I'll start out with ones I know to kind of give it like a baseline. And we'll go from there. Okay, so here are two pads where I gotta put a 100k resistor and I'm going to start out with MG Chemicals. I know this works, I've used it a lot, so I'm just going to record it so you can see how this one reacts. Trying not to block my camera here, I'm kind of crunched with all this recording crap. Okay, here we go. Now, when I do this, I found that tinting the pads first kind of makes your stuff not actually sit flat. So, I kind of don't do that anymore. Oh, it's going everywhere. Okay. Crooked, but whatever. off the microscope. Uh, crooked. Very crooked. I've been working on this board way too long. I just want it to be done. To get it straight I'd have to use a heat gun at this point. I wonder if I should just go and use a heat gun. Anywho. To the point of the video. You can see it doesn't beat up. It actually kind of flows pretty nice. And yes, this stuff will use a pretty bad residue. I'm going to stop this portion. I'm going to fix that crookedness. But you can see it does flow pretty good. At least in my opinion. I don't know a lot about flux. There, I, I told you I'd fix it and I did. So just to keep this from getting mixed up, I'm going to clean off all this flux here with some rubbing alcohol. Well, that capacitor got hot. Uh, I don't really have anything good to swipe it other than q-tips and it does leave fuzz and I hate it. Um, I tried using like a rag but that leaves fuzz also. So I just try to be as neat as I can. With SMDs fuzzies don't really stay as bad but god when you're doing through hole definitely leaves fuzzies everywhere. <laughs> alcohol. Oh, there's some right there. Clean that off. Okay. The reason I clean that off now is because I need to hit that one right there with the other flux. So again, first time I used any of these other than the MG chemicals. Where's my cap? There it is. So I guess I will start out with um, Pester. Why not? Uh, by the way, uh, these little knockoff ones, and I think even the Amtec did not come with a plunger. No, there's a plunger right there. That might be for that, or it might be for something else. Anywho. Okay. Very clear. First thing I notice. So, there's my other resistor right here. Not really sure what the perk to it being liquid first is. Okay, can you sound a microscope as you can? Again, um I used to tin the pads, but I just kinda quit when uh it keep my SMDs from going flat and I hated it. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. Um that's just what I've been doing. I haven't really noticed any issue yet. There is a re reason you shouldn't. I'm sure, I'll find out eventually. Oh god, stop, stay still. Too much caffeine. <laughs> I'm all shaky. Uh, god, there we go. Okay, that burned out. It like sizzled. Um, that was weird. First time using liquid flux too. Uh, 
Huh. Oh, let me see that under a microscope. Okay. Yeah. Look at the one next to it. No, I did hit that with a heat gun. Um, maybe it cleans up a little nicer. I don't know. Let's put more of that on there. Why not? Go for it. That is weird to like sit. Look at that boiling. That is crazy. It looks like almost the air is like rushing out from under the solder. Let me hit it, hit it again. Look at that bubbling. Is this just like, what is this stuff? <laughs> um, I mean, it's flowing. It's not sticking to my iron, so that's good. I guess it works, but let me clean it off and get a good idea what that looks like. Um, put some of that on there. I mean, eh. It's there, I mean, it worked, it kept it from sticking to my iron, that's kind of the ultimate point of it. Help it flow. I mean, if you ever try soldering without flux, God help you. Eh, yeah, I mean, it works. Just weird. That's my only comment on that, it's just weird if you go from a paste flux to a liquid. Seeing so uh, flux boil off like that is kind of strange. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so there's the next one I have to do. It's a resistor. Uh, 1000 ohm resistor. And let's see. I'll tell you what we did. A knockoff one, last one. We will now solder with legit. At least God, I hope so. Amtech. Should be. Came with documentation, all that shit. Um, ooh, amtechtrick.com. That's not where I bought this. So let me find a plunger. I'll just use one of the MG chemicals. I think it will work. Seems to work. And I need a needle. Where? Okay. I'll just use one of these. I think this will fit. Need a big one. These are all the same size, actually. Okay, fair enough. This did not come with this. I believe it had its own. I just don't know where it is. Oh, does it fit? Yes, it fits. There. Geared up, ready to shoot flux. So, let's put some of this here. That came out rather easily. It looks way clearer than my MG chemicals, which you can kind of tell by looking in the tube, it would be. Um, okay. So, 1000 ohm resistor, here we go. It's sideways. Oh, crap. My tip is dirty. I need to clean it. Oh, uh oh. Iron, wake up. You're not done yet. I have many more bad things to use you on. Okay. There we go. Looks very, very clear. Even on a microscope, that's nice. Just get you centered up. I had a lot of caffeine earlier. <laughs> this is making it very hard to stay still. Uh, not really as soon as I'd like. Come on, you. That's a. Uh, 
pretty good joint in my opinion. Wow. Slowed very easily. Very nice. Very easy. Um, I am kind of curious on what it would be like to clean this up. Very, very pretty joint there. So much, not not perfectly straight, but um, come on, where you at? Close enough. The question is, is how easy is this to clean with rubbing alcohol? You pass the soldering test. Now, do you pass the clean test? Rather easy. Less, it's not as tacky as the MG chemicals. I can tell it pretty clearly. Um, it's just, just right. I, I like paste flux in a way because it kind of holds your part in place when you're trying to solder it. You can just kind of set it in there and it'll float over your joint until you're ready to push down and solder it. Um, as for that, definitely did its job on not sticking to my iron and keeping the solder in place. I didn't place my resistor as straight as I probably could have, but hey, it's within the lines, right? Um, <laughs> I would hope it would be within the lines. So, to retract the one on the left, right over here, is MG Chemicals. One to the right of that is liquid solder, the fake Kester 186, and Amtech. So far, I think Amtech has been the most pleasant to use. On to the next one. Okay, just getting my next fake flux candidate here ready to use. This is probably the one I've been most sketched about because you can find this stuff all over eBay in different packaging. This one is the only one I've seen labeled as fake Amtech though. It's usually when you look at it some kind of generic packaging not really labeled. I might test the other one there but I'm pretty sure this is all the same crap. Here I'll grab a tube of it. Well. This one's a little lighter. I'll probably test both of them. Um, I have enough tips from something else. Okay, fake Amtech. And crap, I did not bear with me. I did not look at the next thing I needed to solder. A 6.2K resistor right there. Um, 6.2 is labeled 662. Uh, I think that might be right there. Oh, 622. Okay. Here we go. I'll also link the uh, board I'm soldering. This is actually some little, uh, cool little practice board. You can, it spins around really quick and makes pictures. <laughs> Thought it would be kind of a good thing to practice on, trying to get better at this. So, yeah, here we go. Fake Antec all over my practice board. I guess I'm going to do worse thing. Oh, okay. Okay, that was weird. It didn't even, like, come out in a paste. It almost looks like syrup. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm expecting that. I was expecting kind of a paste. I don't think my board's that hot. Um... Alright, we will take the junk and put my resistor in the junk. Come on, stick. Alright. I mean, do they get like the tree sap off the tree? I think that's what this stuff's made out of, right? Try to get that very 
different. Very different. It's like a a sap or a serp almost. Let's see how it likes a hot iron. That even stick to the component. Move that over, it's off center. Try to hit the other side with this. So, oh, sorry, I didn't even have that in camera. Um, that's what it did. I got a feeling this is not going to come off that easy. Huh. I mean, it works. It's there. It's not sticking to my iron. Of course, it didn't seem like I wanted to stick to the part either. See how it cleans up. Let's see what I got. Uh, where yeah, Oddly enough, in my opinion, that came off a little easier than MG Chemicals did. But I'm really curious to what it's made out of. Um. Huh. Okay, well, fair enough. It's not like you pay a lot for it anyways. <laughs> so I'll go on to the next paste. Okay, so this is the bulk uh, flux I bought for like four dollars. Labeled RMA223. Does not really claim to be anything. Um, and this one's gonna get taken through the ringer because the chip I got a deal. Okay, that came. First thing I noticed, this came out just like Amtec did. Um, very easy to squeeze out. I'd be so happy if this was pretty similar to Amtec. This is the last knockoff one, and then I might try to solder something with Vaseline. Just because I heard that some of these are actually Vaseline. Uh, not these in particular, but fake fluxes are Vaseline. Um, okay, can't really see my pins. Maybe one day I'll learn to actually look at the scope. I want an actual scope, that'd be pretty nice. Rather than this little camera to dead. Alright, let's get one of the legs to anchor. Solder, come on out. Try some more. Let me clean my tip. That probably help. Okay, that 
did not impress me. Maybe there's just not enough flux on it. Let me try to put more flux. Or whatever this shit is. <laughs> Really see my pins through that flux. There we go, now I can see it. Oh, sorry. Okay, so. So far, not that bad. Try to hold this in the camera so you can see. check that real quick and see if I got it. I think I got it. Can't really see. There we go. I did have the right way. <laughs> that would have been pretty something if I had it backwards. Uh, Alright. Let me see if I can get camera focus here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, all those seem to be pointing the right way. It's so hard to focus this camera, I'm too shaky. But you can see they're all making contact with the board on that side. And, oh, that, gotta fix that. What side is that? Yep, I see it. Okay. Let me grab that. Yep, there it is right there. Let me grab that. Dink. And it's gone. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to zoom in real close to the board and look at each individual one. See if it looks like... The solder was trying to chase my iron. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Looks pretty well stuck to the board. Let's see how it cleans. It, it's kind of weird that it reminded me a lot of the Antec when it came out, and if I remember right, the Antec cleaned up pretty good. So let's see how this does. doesn't really leave any residue. That's actually pretty impressive. I'm kind of impressed with this knockoff crap. It reminds me a lot of the Amtec. That's not very tacky. It's coming off pretty easy. If I spend one more time on it, it would be no trouble at all cleaning that off. So, you can kind of see here the difference in the color. But they do kind of look the same within the tube. I don't know how easy it is or what that would even mean essentially for the flux itself. I could tell you squeezing it out of the tube it's not very hard. Like with the MG chemicals I have to squeeze the living crap out of that to come out. This just comes out pretty easy. Maybe that would be an indicator of what it's made out of. But soldering wise they do actually seem kind of similar. Okay, so quick recap. Um, 
this Amtec stuff right here. Yeah, I would definitely stay away from that. It's kind of hard to even tell, you know, what it is. Or, like, maybe this stuff is produced in a large batch and they just kind of slap whatever label on it. But when I started, I said these are probably the same. They're not. These are definitely different. Different textures. Uh, this is like some runny syrup kind of crap. This actually kind of more resembles a paste. So they definitely are different. How they're produced, where they come from. Well, obviously, they come from overseas and are sold as knockoffs. But they're not the same. Um, so I'm going to go to my little junk board I have here out of a tablet that I just kind of hacked at for fun when I first got my stuff. Because the next thing I'm going to use. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I am kind of curious. Because it would be kind of funny if, like, all this was actually just some form of Vaseline, and Vaseline oddly is good for soldering, for all I know. Um, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> so, where on the board is this? I just knocked this stuff off the heat gun, so I need to clean it up and whatnot so I can actually solder it. Uh, and I'm going to throw Vaseline on it. <laughs> Why not? Launch Vaseline, break a soldering iron. That'd be kind of something. So, let me clean these pads up a little bit. I need flux for that, but hey, we're not using flux. Not today, bud. We are going to slap some Vaseline on that for the hell of it. Um, get my thing I used to scrape this out. Where is it? Uh, there we go. That's what I use. So, is Vaseline knockoff flux? Let's find out. I imagine this is going to smell terrible. But I need to clean these pads so I can solder. I think this fuse back on. Okay. Um, I need to get this crap off. So. What in the hell? No way. Is this actually working right now? Good night. Okay. I'm listening. What is this? <laughs> it actually... It's not smelling. Um, we'll see. Let, let the test continue here. You know what? I'm not even going to bother wicking that. I'm not trying to make this live. I need to stop burning my camera. Okay. This went right here. Get some flux on here. Not flux. Solder. Duh. Okay, now the true colors are showing. Let me, uh, I'm gonna humor it. I'm gonna throw some more Vaseline on it. Just so you guys can see. Uh, Vaseline. Here, I'll, I had some left over, but I'll scoop another one for you. Right there, Vaseline. Big whopping pile of it. Why not? I do notice that, uh, Oh crap. This is sticking to my iron. Which, God, I would hope something would be wrong with it, right? This is Vaseline. Um, but it's just kind of weird that they're reacting like the same. Okay, right there. Oh crap, you can't even see this. Jesus Christ, I suck. Um, expect that. So if you were actually like buying knockoff flux like I did 
if you did have Vaseline, you could expect that right there. See how it's sticking to my iron? But the odd thing is, like this one right here, didn't do that. Let me try to clean off my iron. Let's see. Get the excess uh, solder off. Because when I first did that, um, like, like, look, that one on the left just didn't stick. But that one right there stuck. So it's trying to work. Maybe it got hot. I don't know. But oddly enough, it is doing something. I could see how maybe they would be able to try to pass it off as Vaseline if that is an actual thing. But uh, it did solder it. It's just. It's not flux, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when it pulls, it's not flux, uh, but it behaves like flux would. So I can actually see where this could possibly be something they would try to pass off as flux. Because I mean, heck, if you look at it, you know, you can see like the body of that right there. Well, let's look at Amtac you can kinda see how that would happen and the fact that I was able to actually do that much with it I could see how the, the, that could possibly be a thing that they might try to do um... yeah so let's try cleaning it cleaning Vaseline off of this board which you can see I have not cleaned jack off of this thing it was literally just to screw around but let's uh, see what it's like to clean this off good night that ain't doing nothing that's rubbing alcohol too let me get another q-tip okay yeah that's if I hack that a little bit it would probably come off but it is definitely leaving a residue, you can kind of see it flecking the board. Alright, so in, in summary, no, these knockoffs clearly aren't Vaseline. Uh, I just soldered with it. <laughs> Poor solder tip, right? Um, I could see how that part could happen if you could do that much with Vaseline. Um, who knows what you could do with something else. Uh, the Amtec was definitely the uh, easiest to work with. I would hope it's Amtec. Um, I'm actually doing these knockoff ones. I'm kind of disappointed in MG Chemicals, to be honest with you, because I've used this so much, and it is hell to clean this stuff off of a board. Um, it works, obviously, but it's really hard to get it off of a board. Um, Kester 186, this fake stuff, don't get it. I'm it sketches me out to watch it blow off like that, but you know, maybe liquid flux is supposed to do that. And it's not like it really puts off a bad product, but it's a knockoff. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be. Not soldering with liquid stuff before. I don't like it that much. <laughs> it, it sketches me out. The fact that it just boils off like that makes me wonder what this stuff is. Um these two right here. No, just no. What that pooped on my board, I don't know, but just no. And it's not like any of these put off a bad solder joint. It did what flux does. It keeps the the crap in place, but it's just weird. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. It, what was that step on my board? It's like they put maple syrup in a tube and then you shot it on the board. Just, it's weird. Uh, surprisingly enough, though, um, it felt a lot like Amtec. It did, it came out like the Amtec did, and it did what the Amtec did. And this was like $5 for 10 of them. Uh, I'll play with it more once I get down to it. I'm obviously going to use this stuff in order, but 
Um, I'm not going to say don't try to get it. It's $5, and it did work. I'll leave that to you to decide, but it did do something, and it did what you would expect Flux to do, and it was really easy to clean. That is the big thing. This stuff sucks to clean. Um, this did not, though. It came off really easy. But uh, that's it. This is the uh, knockoff Flux roundup, comparing it with actual Fluxes that you can buy and have five star ratings on like this. So yeah. Thanks for watching.